<laughs> it's a party right here at Sister Circle, and we are happy that you are back with us. Join right now, join with us is Danielle Canada. She is the associate editor of Boss Up, and she's here to spill all of the yes. Hollywood tea. Yes. I just love spending time with you, girl, because I, I know I'm here something that I didn't you. know. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for having me, as always. Well, let's just move right on down to the Met Gala. Yes, yes. What, so I, I hear Letitia Wright had a video was that captured everyone's yes. attention. Le it was quite magical. Yes, Letitia Wright of Black Panther fame. She had this beautiful Black Excellence video. It had Chadwick Boseman, it had Donald Glover in there, and it also had Daniel Kaluuya. And mm. it was just having fun at the Met Gala. And also in the video was John Boyega. And oh, what makes wow. him really special is that they went to acting school together in London, and they used to fantasize about their success. So now they're here at the Met Gala having fun together. And it How was really cool awesome. That? Yeah. I mean, just black opulence. Yes, black opulence, black excellence. Yes, abound. I live. Yeah. Speaking of excellence, let's talk a little bit about Tiffany Haddish. We've been yes. hearing a lot about her over the last couple of months. Yes, yes. So Tiffany Haddish was at the Met Gala as well, and she was telling reporters that she hoped she would have a chance to have a dance with Michael B. Jordan. Really? Yeah, she apparently has a crush on Michael B. Mm. Jordan, and she also told Charlamagne the God this, and she told him that she wanted to shoot her shot with him, and until she got her chance, she said that she would not uh, maintain her lady parts, if you know what I mean. What? She's waiting. You know, Tiffany's a comedian. So she said she's waiting on Michael B. Jordan. Michael heard this himself, and he kind of just laughed it off like Tiffany's Tiffany, crazy. it's the summertime, girl. <laughs> Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to it's yourself, sis. Brazilian. But that's what she said. She said she's waiting on Michael B. Jordan. Okay, girl. Well, just the baby powder. Stay fresh, girl. <laughs> Stay dry. <laughs> but but I, I, I want to say, I actually was watching some of the... Um, of course, I'm always on social media, yes. and then I, I noticed that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, yes. they had some words. They did. They were And it also, seemed quite pleasant. Yes, they were also at the Met Gala, and they actually got a chance to exchange some words. They had a cordial conversation, but immediately after this, some fans thought that Cardi dissed Nicki. Oh, an, really? Instagram, an Instagram account posted a screenshot, supposedly from Cardi, liking a fan dissing Nicki Minaj. Cardi clapped back and said that that was not her. That's a completely fake screenshot. And she later cleared it up on Howard Stern. She told him that they indeed talked at the Met, uh, at the Met Gala. Mm -hmm. And she said that they both kind of felt some type of way about something. She wouldn't expound on it, but she said they're completely fine now. They've cleared the air. You know what we're going to do? What we're going to do? Get the people the lips, child, a side <laughs> eye. Y'all ought to stop that. You know, just making something <laughs> yeah. out of nothing. She My God. That. She was like, it feels like people are just trying to pit them against each other. Yes. And she kind of was like, well, why do two women of color have to have an issue? They looked beautiful together. They and I was did. very happy to see them speaking with grace and style, yes. honey. Yes. Yes. Well, we're going to tiptoe right down here to Atlanta. Yes. Miss My good girlfriend, Miss Phaedra Parks, honey. Yes. The people are saying that uh, it's rumored she may be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And there is a big rumor that Phaedra's coming back. And the reason reason for this is that Phaedra was recently spotted out with Portia Williams, mm -hmm. you know, their freaking frat, mm -hmm. and they broke up kind of after season nine, at the season nine reunion, Yeah. but they were spotted at a mutual friend's skating party, Yeah. and they posed for pictures together, so people were like, oh, is freaking frat back, are they coming back to the Real Housewives, mm. you know, there's room for Phaedra now. Well, there is, there's a lot of room, because yes. uh, there's Kim, Kim Zolciak is gone, Yeah. Sheree Whitfield is gone, yeah. so there's some space, and it's yeah. clear they kind of need her back. You know what, I, I feel that there's a missing gap for sure but I'll tell you let's just hold on for just a second we're going to return because we have a little bit more tea we want to spill with Dania Canada when we come right back about basketball wise mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We are back on Sister Circle Live with associate editor of Boss Up, my good girlfriend, Danielle Canada. Yes, and yes. before we went to break, we were talking a little bit about basketball wise. Yes. Who's back and who's full time, who's part time, who's half time, and who has no time? <laughs> all right, so basketball wise is back, as you all know. It's coming back this month. And Jennifer Williams is back full time. Yes. She is joining Jackie Christie, Malaysia Pargo, Evelyn Lozada, her ex best friend. And Jennifer basically said that she came back because she wanted fans to see the new her mm. and if you tuned in the last season you saw her and Evelyn make up they had a very touching scene where they okay. kind of apologized for all the drama that went down between them okay and Jennifer also said she felt like she went through two divorces on Basketball Wives one from her husband and one from Evelyn Aww. so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out this season I can understand it it's mm -hmm. really hard when you break up with a, a best friend you yeah. know because when you have your spouse the next best thing to you is your best, best friend. friend so I can completely understand that mm -hmm. um but I want to 
talk a little bit about Fabulous and Emily. I mean, the last time you were here, we reported that there was some bit of a spat. Allegations were yes. out there that and he had knocked out her several of her teeth. teeth. And, yes. you know, TMZ also reported and actually had a clip of the mm -hmm. argument on the property. And yes. Uh, they were seen really out seeming very charming. Yes, so at first, Fabulous and Emily B were first spotted together at Coachella, mm. and fans took video of that, and they were like, are they back together? Now it definitely looks like they're back together. They were spotted at a barbecue, mm. posing, taking pictures, looking very happy together. Uh, Fab has also been publicly commenting on Emily B's Instagram, leaving hard eyes so that fans can know that they are back being a couple. Uh, mind you, Fab is still facing three to five years in prison. Um, we have a reporter from Bossip who goes and sits in the courtroom and reports on that. Oh, honey, Bossip, y'all get the good tea, <laughs> don't you? Tea. Real so, messy uh, like too. <laughs> Jennifer Cunningham from Bossip told me that he is still facing three to five years in prison for assault charges and making terroristic threats. Oh, my, my, my. So despite them being met together, despite Emily looking like she's happy with mm -hmm. him, things could still she go She still left. might have to go and do visitation. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. that's very, that's very Nasty. tough, honey. Well, let's move on down to L.A. You know, recently we talked about uh, Sanaa Latham. Yes. Everyone thought that she was the woman that was referred to as the biter. The Beyonce uh, biter. Yes, the Beyonce mm -hmm. biter, the BB. Yes. <laughs> and she's finally speaking out about that. She, what is she saying? She is speaking out about it. After saying on social media that it wasn't her, she's further expounding. She is on the cover of Health Magazine, and she is telling them that this is the most bizarre rumor she has ever heard about herself. She's saying she would never do something so malicious mm -hmm. to Beyonce. Now, mind you, this all comes after Tiffany Haddish mm -hmm. said that someone bit Beyonce. She never named uh, Sanai, mm -hmm. but reports came out, and they said it was definitely Sanai. They said that people saw her do this to Beyonce. And we don't know. It could have been a joke. <sighs> Uh, she could have been, you we know, go with the people again. Allegedly, she could have been intoxicated. We don't know what happened. Well, Danielle, honey, I just got to tell you, I love when you come down and we sip <laughs> hot pipe and tea together. Yes. For more information <laughs> and more stories, um, you can always go to Bossip on all social media platforms.